Today I have a Canon M50 camera I want to upgrade with a better battery pack. The original battery pack on here is only about 1 amp hour. And that's in theory. You're lucky if you get half of that. The original battery is 7.2 volts. So that means two cells in series. So I have an option to use either two 18650 cells or two 21700 cells. I think I'm going to go with the Tesla 2170 cells. It's about five times capacity compared to the original battery. Next step is to make the case for the battery. I'm going to use an ABS plastic pipe. I cut a slot in the middle. Now I'm going to use my heat gun and straighten it out flat like this. I'm going to heat up the plastic again and use this piece of wood to mold the plastic into a box. Let me show you what I've got so far. So here's the plastic pipe. I mold it in shape and I drill a hole right in the middle there and it's going to be mounted right on the tripod mount of the camera. I kind of sink the hole so that the screw will sink in there and won't stick out. This is a quarter 20 size screw. This piece of wood is the bottom part of the battery case and I drill a hole right in the center to make another tripod mount because it's already occupied by the battery case. I drill a hole and then this nut is going to go through the hole like so and then I cut out a little bit there so that it will sink a little bit into the wood so that the and of the nut is going to be flush on the other side. And that's because this nut is a little bit too short compared to the thickness of the piece of wood. So I just push it down and then when I hammer it down and it will sink into the wood. And this nut is called T-nut pronged quarter 20 9 16 of an inch is the height of the nut. And here we go. You can see it sink into the wood quite a bit. I put some glue on it so that it will secure the nut on that pretty good. And on this side, you can see it's flush with the surface so that the tripod screw is going to be able to get it there. Next step is to cut out the battery, remove the old cells, and reuse the BMS. I'm going to cut along the seam of the battery all the way around using my oscillating tool and here it is just like magic by the way if you want to learn how to cut this without damaging the cells inside I put the link down below let me show you the inside of this battery we got two cells in series so these are uh, very small cells has aluminum case it's very similar to pouch cell except that the case is aluminum and that is the BMS the battery pack is connected to the BMS by only three terminals positive negative and the series connection I'm going to cut out all this nickel strip and reuse the BMS and then I'm going to connect it to my new battery the same way. Let me show you how I connect the new battery to the BMS. On most Canon camera, on the battery door, there is already a hole where you can pass a wire through. And then there's even a rubber door so you can close it. So look like Canon already knows what I'm thinking when they designed this camera it's just made specifically for me so I have to pass the wire through before I solder it to the BMS otherwise it won't fit through the hole on the BMS is actually labeled very clearly we got B negative B positive for batteries and on the left side we got COM for the series connection I solder the wires to my balance connector and then this is going to be connected to the balance connector on the battery pack 
The only connection to the battery from the camera is deep inside the camera. You can see the three pins on the right side. So I'm going to have to use the case again and then just put the BMS back into the case so that I can insert it all the way in there. So here's the inside of the dummy battery. I'm using pieces of plastic from the fake battery I got earlier and uh, to secure the BMS in place otherwise there's, there's going to be an empty spot here and uh, it won't be tight enough. So that way the BMS is tight and is held in place. It is so ironic that I'm using parts from a fake battery to make a real battery. What goes around comes around. Let's give it a try shall we? Let's insert the battery. Okay, it's locked in there. Now we close the door. I already plugged in the uh, balance cable so it should have power. Now turn on. Yay! It is on. Check that out. That's nice. Check this out. I'm on video mode and the battery live says on the camera 3 hours 59 minutes. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I can also swap out batteries pretty easy and quickly. So let's turn this off. Now disconnect the first battery. Now we connect to a second battery. Now we turn it back on. Boom! Just like that. Now all I have to do is to install the case on the camera and put the battery in the case and I'll be good to go. I got the double sided tape on the bottom and then uh, I made a little channel here. It's a gap so that the wire can go in there. So that now when I put on the plastic case it does not pinch on the wire. And also the double sided tape will help the case from spinning around because there's only one screw to hold it together. So there we go. That's what it looks like. And it does not pinch on the wire with just one single screw right there. It's very secure. Now I just need to put this on here and make a couple of doors on the front and the back and I should be good to go. Here it is. I glue a piece of ABS plastic on the front. It's very tight. On the back I made a small door from the same ABS pipe. I drill a couple holes and uh, put two zip ties so that it become a hinge so it can open and close. I glue a piece of magnet on the piece of wood and then one magnet on the plastic so that when I close it will hold on pretty good. Not coming out. I cut a small channel on the uh, plastic so that I can run the wire so that it doesn't stick out. That way I can close the door without pinching on the wire. The battery and the wires, they all fit nicely in there. Let me uh, try and pull it out and show you the battery. There you go, that's the battery. And everything fit in there nicely. And Close that door, just like that. The good thing about this is that now my camera can stand on its own. And uh, this acts as a small tripod. It can even stand on its side. So I can take pictures vertically. Let's try and turn it on. There we go. It's working beautifully. Press record and it's recording. It's working beautifully. 
uh, we got three hours 48 minutes of battery life let's try something else it's working pretty good we got my tripod here let's try and install the tripod and see how it works on the tripod there you go very sturdy even upside down and that's all for now folks thanks for watching and i will see you next time